Hey, this is Mike in the Film Lab on the Substream.com, and this is a Film Lab quickie. What I want to talk about today is this little thing and lens flares. They're not cool added in post in After Effects lens flares to make your skate video look more artistic. I'm talking about actual lens flares, destructive, annoying lens flares that are caused by lights or the sun bouncing around inside your lens and messing up your image. Now, arguably lens flares can add a certain artistic je ne sais quoi to scenes of young people in love frolicking in a golden meadow, perhaps shot during the golden hour. So they're not always necessarily a mistake. Sometimes they're a stylistic choice. However, when you're shooting in a studio, they rarely make sense, and they usually just wreck your image. Now, checking the lens of the camera that you're going to be shooting with for lens flares is the job of somebody called a camera assistant, but on most micro and low budget, super cheap films, there isn't a camera assistant. So I'm going to teach you how to check for lens flares using your eye and this thing here, a mirror. So if this is the camera that we're shooting that with, and pretend there's a bunch of actors over there doing <laughs> actory type stuff, the first thing that we need to do is check and make sure there's not actually any lens flares. And we do that weirdly, by actually coming around on the other side of the camera from where we normally stand and looking in the lens. And what we're looking for is reflections of lights that are shooting into the lens that haven't been properly flagged or black wrapped by an electrician or by a grip or by you if you can't afford to pay an electrician or a grip. So we look around into the lens and it helps to pass your hand over to see if your hand is casting a shadow on the lens itself. And if it is, you know that you have a lens flare. And if you do have a lens flare, then you have to figure out where it's coming from. Now you do this cool thing called sticking your head and pretending that you're the lens. You come around and you be the lens and you look out and you look and you see where is a light shining onto me from. Probably there's going to be a lot of lights that are visible to you as the lens. Not everything will be perfectly black wrapped or flagged off, but also not everything will be causing a lens flare. You need to figure out where that specific flare is coming from. And an easy way to do that is to use a little mirror that you can keep in your pocket. And just set it up in front of the lens and look behind you to try and figure out where it's coming from. You'll see it. It'll shine right in your eye. Once you find it, you can fix it by asking an electrician, ooh, fancy, to fix it by putting some black wrap on the light or fixing the light's barn doors. Ask a grip, ooh, even fancier, to flag it for you. Or if you're the camera assistant or the camera op, you can get a French flag, which is a thing that clips onto the camera that kind of pokes out in front of it to block off light coming from a specific direction. Or you can use a matte box or barn doors on the actual camera itself. But this thing costs like a dollar and it's it saves so much time. You get to feel like such a cool dude doing this. One cool trick discovered by a camera assistant mom.